All right, so we're in uh, Ho Chi Minh still, or also known as Saigon. We're at the War Remnants Museum. We just came through the front gate. It was 40 dong per person to get in, so about $3. Well, a little over $2. Um, so here's the main building, and outside they've got a bunch of old um, aircraft and tanks, some uh, artillery over there, H-47 there, an old tank. Come around this way, you have a, a U.S. Air Force Cessna type, an old school two-bladed Huey. Not exactly sure what that one is. I'm sure it'll tell me though. Old school prop job, tail dragger, U.S. Air Force type. It's an A1 Sky Raider, according to the plaque. There you go. Looks like there's uh, the little tail you can see back there was 0128. Looks like a tweet. Looks like they've got some artillery and possibly some bomb types over there. Uh, so we'll be taking you through the, the museum a little bit today and uh, adding to the clip as we go. Also still outside at the War Remnants Museum, we're gonna go into what's called, they call the Tiger Cage here. This is apparently where they kept uh, some political prisoners uh, during the war. So let's go in and see. Oh, okay, it's a whole complex in here. Um, looks like the rock wall, obviously, is probably 10 or 12 feet tall. I don't know if you can tell up there or not, but there's glass um, shards sticking up out of the very top of the wall. And then you also have the barbed wire uh, strung up around the, the top there. Let's go in and see what this is. There's a guillotine. Oh, boy. The guillotine, all right. Still inside the War Remnants Museum, and what you're looking at there is a bunch of bats hanging off of the wall. Not related to uh, where we actually are right now, but they're pretty cool. They're also hanging off of the ceiling here. So that's very interesting. Talk about what you're learning there. Um, okay. Go ahead. Tiger cages are special towns for the detention of political prisoners considered stubborn by the uh, Saigon authorities. There are 120 cages of such type in, on, on Dot Kondao Island. Um, 514 were keep, kept in a cage in the hot season, and one in a cage shackled, as you see there. Uh, during the winter, um, you ate, drank, slept, everything, only in this place. The jailers would back and forth, squatting and thrashing prisoners. If you talked, caught, or shot a mosquito, you would get severe punishment, including uh, stabbing with sharp sticks and shoveling lime on them. Uh, prisoners received serious burns and vomited blood. Uh, their meals were handfuls of rice of poor quality and small pieces of decayed dried fish. Uh, vegetables and meat weren't existent, and they were each given a half tin can of drinking water a day for bathing, drinking, and washing. 
So we're on the inside of the building now, and most of it is um, pictures and uh, short stories of things that happened during the war, different people that were there, uh, and things like that. So we're going to take a look around. Uh, if we see something that is uh, interesting enough, uh, we'll stop and uh, film it as well. Oh look, there's Hanoi Jane. Imagine that. There she goes. Uh, so we'll take a look around, like I said, and if there's anything uh, that catches our eye or whatever, we will uh, start the camera up again and uh, let you all see it. As you can see from the sign, this part of the museum is called Agent Orange Effects. So again, it's another room with uh, pictures and placards and a uh, short video on the wall up there, it looks like. Agent Orange Effects. War Crimes is the name of this section. historical truths we are now on the third floor going into the historical truths uh, area So that's it for the uh, Remnants Museum. We're at the top uh, floor now, the fourth floor, and we can, uh, from the center, you can look down inside to where the little theater area was. So that's going to wrap the War Remnants Museum for us here today. We're moving on to somewhere else.